you live in a fallen world and there's so much that you're not going to ever understand, but no, I am God. Hi, I'm Julia Kaufman and I've been attending Northland for a little over five years and I wasn't looking for God. He, he found me and he grabbed me and told me who he was and that blew my mind because I wasn't expecting that. When I came to Northland, it was the warmth that I felt that made me feel comfortable. I knew immediately I was at home. I felt that, I, I felt like I, I didn't have to be a certain person. I could be who I am. I grew up and heard about the Bible, but I had never read it. And then when you start reading it, you it, it's kind of mind boggling how much it's your, it's his word. It's, it's his, guide for you. And I, I was thankful to have Northland with all the different opportunities to classes that you can take and talking with people. They, they mean what they mean, that connection. If you are wanting to connect, they will connect you. And so you also have to just be willing to take classes. I decided to take the perspectives course because Gus recommended it. And as soon as he, <laughs> he says, Julia, there's a class that I think you'd uh, like to take. It's called Perspectives. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll take it. And he's no, oh, wait a minute. I need to, you need to understand it's a very intensive 15 week course. And I said, doesn't matter. I just know I'll take it. And I took the class and it was way over my head at the time. It, I was only a Christian for maybe a year and a half. And Perspectives is, is really delving in talking about digging deeper, it digs deeper into God's Word, His, from history to Bible to culture to strategy. It's the whole collection of understanding. As I learned about who God was, there were some areas that were totally different from my, my life and I didn't agree with Him. So in, for example, uh, this is raw, and <laughs> but I'll share because it's uh, to me, it, it really shows the who God is in my life and illustrated His grace and His patience. I didn't understand about intimacy. I, I saw, I mean, it, we're creatures of God and He gave us these feelings and that was fine. So when I started reading the Bible and I learned about about that, about lust and, you know, that, that sexual relation should be between a man and a woman married, I thought, oh, wait a minute, God, we hold, stop on this because this doesn't make any sense. You're, you're saying this, but yet you created us to have these feelings and we can't act upon them. That doesn't make sense to me. So for two years, we had these discussions. And I, when you ask me about discussions, it's just, I really did. I argued with him I, and he was always there, patient, and he listened and he was always steadfast he and over time he changed my heart he made me understand and he's so good and so now I'm like okay I get it and I see why you're right and in my life it's just put a perspective and and that and it wasn't important and it's just it's about agape love and being caring I have more love in my life in a different way that it's not about that topic and not that that's that big a deal but it was at that time I didn't understand and he helped me understand his ways and his character there's some difficult topics in the Bible and I can't tell you that I really do have full understanding but I know after I prayed about it God calmed me down and he said Julia just keep focusing on me and he meant it like there's so many distractions and we can get caught up in our own life and put him on the sec back seat it, it's you have it's it's work you know it's not you know the word long suffering I don't like that word I'm like I always want to be happy and joyful but it's in the Bible and you are going to go through trials and tribulations but there and there is quote long suffering but when I looked up what that word means it's you know patience you know and and just being always focused on God and so there's always going to be um, that awareness that you need to have and 
maybe because I became of faith later in life that I, I am like all about God because it's so new to me and I hope it's always new to me. And so five years later, I'm, I'm still growing, I'm still learning, I'm taking that next step and it's such joy. All of these things that you can do just is an evolution of growth and maturity with God. And for Him to be who He is, God Almighty, Jehovah God, King of Kings, Lords of Lords, and who He is, yet He allows me to have a relationship with Him. Praise Him. Thank you, Lord. I love you.